Hello my cancer friends. Today we're going to go over uh, the impacts that this uh, solar eclipse is making for you in terms of your personal growth in 2017. Uh, bringing forward some changes that happened in 2016 to end things for you and start something new and wonderful that brings you closer to what your life purpose is this lifetime in 2017, the year of new beginnings. So of course the eclipses and the eclipse cycles are when those changes really start to take foot. And for you, my Cancer friends, where this makes the biggest impact is in your, um, in the sixth house of work. <laughs> this has a lot to do with um, how you make your money this lifetime. It's all about finances. It's all about uh, the professional foundations that you have that create this long-term success for you moving forward, okay? And you find that this year is when the hard work that you've put in and the dedication that you've put in over these years is finally starting to pay off. It's finally starting to see that light at the end of the tunnel, right? So, know that this year, no matter what, the eclipses are trying to bring new phases for you in terms of your career pushing you further to what your life purpose is. Not only do you have the eclipses that are initiating these new beginnings, you have Jupiter working as well with you in this time frame that bring you luck and opportunities. It opens doors where there used to be walls and ways that you never dreamed possible to make new networking connections with people. That's what the universe is working on this year to bring you closer to where you need to be. You may have found that starting since September of last year, random new people have come into your life that radically change the way you think, the way you look at in terms of your life purpose. Why am I here? What makes me happy? What do I need to do? These people are like those doors that were where there used to be walls. They help you to see things from a new angle and a new light, okay? Because you as a Cancer are very tied to your past. You're very tied to the comfort of what the past provides for you. And in terms of that, it's very difficult for you to move forward, especially if you have an Aries Ascendant, if you have another fixed sign or a, a fixed sign Ascendant or Moon, uh, which is Aquarius, uh, Taurus, Scorpio, or Leo. If you have any of those influences around you as well in your chart, it's going to be very difficult for you to move past a situation that no longer fits you anymore. And you'll find that as a Cancer, you tend to get emotional, right? There will be more emotional upheaval for you in that process because you are meant to move forward and you're not allowing yourself to do so because of fear of change, fear of the past no longer being there. Follow what the universe is bringing you this year. You, my friend, are ruled by the moon, okay? And the moon is about your intuition. Following what your intuition says, you by far are the most empathic and the intuitive of all the signs. I don't care how spiritually evolved or unevolved you are, my cancer friend. You are the most empathic and intuitive. You follow your gut because your gut will never lead you wrong. It never leads most people wrong, but it's never going to lead a cancer wrong, right? You can feel intuitively where it's going to take you. Know when you get these nudges from the universe, when it's pushing you to leave a job. When it's pushing you to do anything that has to do, maybe you want to start a side business. Maybe it's something you've been thinking of for a while. Maybe you want to go out on your own. Maybe you want to leave, leave something behind. Whatever has to do with your soul's purpose on this life, right? If you're feeling a nudge, if you've been feeling a nudge since September of last year, go with what your gut is telling you because ultimately it's going to lead you to greater happiness because that's what these eclipses do. They bring you to greater happiness. So keep following that cancer friends this is where the big impact is for you and this is what the solar eclipse is trying to do and it gave you a preview also not only in september of last year but february of this year maybe somebody really made you mad at work maybe there was an opportunity that came up where somebody offered you a partnership in a business now it's coming back again in this eclipse cycle pay attention are there repetitive customers clients themes that are in your life as well listen to it Follow what your intuition tells you, and it will not lead you wrong, my friends. It will not, it will not, it will not. Let me just double check and see if there's anything else where these things are happening. Do, 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 do. Nope. That's everything for you, my cancer friends. If you have any questions, please know you can always contact me directly. Okay? We can do a reading. 
to kind of dig into your personal chart a little bit more and see what things are impacting you on a personal level, even more so than what the eclipses are trying to bring in terms of happiness and new beginnings for you this year as well. Everybody, I wish you beautiful light, love, and blessings in the coming year. And for the remainder of this eclipse cycle, know that these shifts and changes are a little unsettling. And as we kind of wear out of this eclipse cycle over the next couple of weeks, the dust will settle and you'll feel like you have your legs to move forward a little bit more so in terms of making decisions if you are ready to leave. Um, I would also suggest uh, waiting for Mercury to leave retrograde, which is in a couple of weeks, before you act on these things. You may be thinking about it a lot behind the scenes, but don't act on things until that Mercury retrograde has left as well. So, everybody, thank you so much again for watching. Bye.